This was an old apartment building that was here in this parking lot, and it's no longer here. And this was the apartment building that my mother, Helen, and my father, Aaron, lived in when I was first born. And my mother was schizophrenic, would get very confused when she was, I guess, cooking in the kitchen and didn't know where to put me. And she figured she probably thought that she didn't want a, an infant falling from a table, so she would put me in an oven and I wouldn't fall. Oh yeah, this is it. Hi. I, I grew up here. You did? Yes. How long ago? Uh, 72 years ago. And uh, my grandmother owned it wow. and my grandfather had bought this. And I was a little girl and she used to collect rent here. Wow, okay. And uh, leave me in the front apartment and the preacher was there and oh, I nice. used to sing and dance. Well, she left wow, me and collected rents, and she collected rents. If you want to yeah. see inside, I'll have to show you inside. I don't think it's, it's probably, that would got renovated in 2002. That would be great. You want to see? I'm Is not going to okay? see the whole house, because my oh, wife will kill okay. me. I'll really? show you the first floor. That's, just, okay. that's, that's all great. I need. Well, that's great. So Thank yeah. you so yeah. much. <laughs> this is fabulous. Thank and you so much. the kitchen and uh -huh. the back area as well. Yeah, well, I was here, and there was a super downstairs. Is there a basement down there? Uh, there's the apartment, and then below that, there's the basement. Okay. Basement where the boiler is and stuff. Okay, like so yeah. that's where I was. And he used to take care of me. His okay. name was John, and I remember. And I was just two or three years old, and he taught me to eat sardines out of a can. And I was all excited. He would roll the can oh, yeah, and the yeah. sardines, and we'd take forks. And that's funny. That's funny. This was like in the 20s, right? What? It was built in 1909, I think. Oh, even earlier. Yeah, earlier. That's great. Oh, that's great. After we lived on Isham Street in Manhattan, my father took over his father's property in Long Beach, and then I had a wonderful childhood. Now I was at the beach, and I was riding my bike every day on the boardwalk, and I had a wonderful time in Long Beach. We used to go down the street to the Laura Luncheonette, and we called it the Greasy Spoon. And we ate lunch there every day. And there were always action at the Laura Luncheonette. There was always at the Greasy Spoon, two of my girlfriends got into a huge fist fight over a boy, and one girl literally pulled hair out of the other girl's head. <laughs> He went down on the floor and the whole place was in an uproar and it was right here at the Laura Luncheonette that it happened. This was the Greasy Spoon and this is where we used to eat lunch and this is back in 1956. And we used to come here every day and this is where Eileen Cooper and this other girl had a big fist fight and she pulled her down by the hair. Can you show me like... Right here, here, right here. They were on the floor and all the kids were around them. And then my dad got together with Nana, Dorothy, and then I was very happy because Dorothy was a very attractive woman and my, I was with my father and with Dorothy, my stepmom, and she had a son, Bobby. And so now I had a stepbrother. And so this was kind of a normal family for me. And I was never allowed to really tell the truth about who my real mother was and where she was. I had to pretend that my stepmother was my mother and that my brother was my real brother, even though we were two months apart. Um, when I was in school, in elementary school, I had a, my very best friend, Joyce, was into art, and she would always draw. 
and she got me interested in art because I thought it was fabulous. These are air plants, Aiden, and they just live off of air. They're very interesting. And as an artist, I find a great deal of inspiration from nature. Well, I've done art all my life, pretty much, actually, and I went to Fashion Institute of Technology when I graduated high school, and that's in Long Beach, and that was in 1960. And this one is a pregnant nude, and I call this one shackles. And what I feel about this is her freedom is over, and now she's in prison and shackled and tied up. And these are all the stripes represent the bars of her no longer being free because now she's having the responsibility of a baby. And then I raised a family and stopped working and went back to school and got a math degree and taught mathematics. And while I did that, I always painted. I definitely see that when someone has children that they're giving up their lives. It's a, <laughs> it's a, a huge responsibility. And I understand why there are many artists that are famous who deserted their family. They just left. But for me, because my mother was institutionalized, to me the most important thing in my life was having a family. And are you happy that you made that decision? I am very happy. I would make it over again. <laughs>